all right <laughs> I, this is my old trout fishing hat it's been um shall we say a little bit flattened in the bottom of my uh tackle box well welcome back to the channel Cornish Chris here looking like a right yokel uh welcome back to my channel so today is the Friday the 14th of July and my first day back fishing for salmon I have um I, it took me three days to get up here from Cornwall fantastic great to be here um it's been chucking it down which is great uh it's also raining all day um I got here nice and early and sat in the wrong lay-by <laughs> uh, but anyway there we are I'm here so today I'm fishing at New Tile on the River Tay and in case you are new to my channel please understand that I record fishing videos regardless of whether or not I catch a fish for me it's all about the experience of the day unfortunately because it's chucking it down Theo's not out with me this morning he might come out with me this afternoon but he's had a good walk this morning so um, yeah so he's okay he's in the car keeping dry and uh, I'm going to test my luck and hopefully we might lean into a grills uh, yeah so thanks for joining me uh, please give me a massive like and don't forget to subscribe I'm fishing now for the next three weeks so there'll be plenty more videos to come thanks a lot for tuning in proper job War. <laughs> so don't quote me <laughs> but this pool I believe is called the Fiddlers um, it's marked if you know New Tile it's marked by this white post with a green band around it I'm sure that's the first pool he said um, there are more further up but it's a long old walk and I'm just looking at it thinking it could be pretty pretty steep banks a uh, little bit of a sort of an update on my knee for those of you who are interested uh, it's better uh, since I fell over at the Tweed uh, on Tweedswood um, that now in the context of the videos it's only been like a couple of weeks since uh, the last video but in terms of uh, you know real time it's been about uh, six weeks or maybe even eight weeks we've had terribly uh, hot weather low water conditions uh, my thanks to my good friend Matt's trick the fly tying uh, Supremo who sent me a load of amazing uh, low water flies uh, I'm not going to need them today <laughs> it's uh, really really quite uh, uh, running quite high um, and looking um, yeah uh, like spring almost um, but anyway we can't complain about the weather it's either really really poor or it's uh, um, you know flowing like this but so at least we've got water in the river and uh, grills are being caught on the Tay so fingers crossed uh, so this is the fly I'm using today um, I'm going to use a few but I'm going to start off with this one um, uh, which is one of Matt's specials from the spring section or selection uh, it's something that uh, I used to quite good success up on the uh, river spay when I caught my springer that's the fly uh, so um, thought maybe it'll have the magic again it's a bit more weighted I'm fishing a floating line setup with uh, a fast sink um, uh, tip on the end uh, 18 pound uh, chameleon uh, uh, what's it called uh, leader um, and all of my entire setup is now listed in the description of my videos for those who are interested well enough chatting I suppose better get in the river just coming up half past nine uh, so we're gonna fish this this morning and see how we get on <laughs>
Right, so I've now moved on to this uh, well, yellow banana. Um, Matt's trick special again. A bit more weight, uh, no, not as much weight. Got a little kind of cone head on the front. This nice sort of yellow fur, a little bit of a fleck of orange. I've finished fishing through the fiddler's pool and I've moved down now a little bit further. I'm just scoping out this pool here in front of me. Um, this looks like it's um, just noticed. <laughs> Hasn't made a difference so far, but I've missed an eye uh, with my reel. Brilliant. Uh, with my line, rather. Hasn't made a difference so far. Anyway, um, just scoping out this. Go down here and then it looks like it's quite sort of ends up quite streamy, quite fast flowing down there. So maybe just try here for a few casts, cast the line round and then uh, move down a bit further, I think. All right, so I think I'm now moved down to chat with Gilly. I've moved down to, I think he said the cottage pool. But uh, don't quote me on that. I'll put all the pool names up when I edit the video later. I'll put all them up later on. But uh, yeah, I've moved down to the top of the cottage pool. And the gilly was saying out in the middle of the, uh, the, middle of the river, um, gillies over the past, you know, into antiquarium, you know, history. <laughs> trying to say, uh, have put big rocks out there and they've created lies and so I'm really just trying to cast according to his instructions just trying to cast into the middle where there's uh, you can see like disruption across the top of the water uh, good uh, lies for this height of water I was chatting with, uh, with David and uh, we were talking about the possibilities of another day's fishing here but he reckons that there's going to be a big storm tonight and that uh, that might scupper plans for more fishing tomorrow. Uh, today is Friday. And so I haven't booked anything because I had planned to meet up with the Salmon Addicts. Big up the Salmon Addicts. Uh, a fantastic uh, YouTube channel. The guys are just starting out go to their channel give them support subscribe and all that nice stuff uh yeah the salmon addicts father and son lee and jamie uh who guested me on the upper delvin on my last trip and they've started their own thing charting their adventures nice take i think actually father and son fishing channel i think that's a that's a really really good little uh, niche there um, yeah and they just fish um, mostly the Tay but uh, they were also off on the D on, but recently so yeah head over to their channel the uh, Salmon Addicts they're also on Instagram uh, we were hoping to try and sort something out for Upper Delvin on Saturday but uh, unfortunately we couldn't do it so I've got a day off tomorrow um, which I don't really want to have a day off tomorrow but I'm just you know I just want to get fishing effectively just want to be fishing that's all I've been looking forward to ever since the ever since the heat wave broke uh, like a week ago and now with all this rain coming in, they're just like, right, let's get to Scotland, ASAP. All right, that was lunch. And uh, Theo is now out with me now. On the other side of the bank, because let's face it, it stopped raining. And now you can have a lovely whale of a time running around, getting wet. And then hopefully, he could be quite quiet for the rest of the evening. Might be a bit peace and quiet this weekend. 
bless him, he's been looking forward to coming fishing as much as I have. I don't know whether he realises he's coming fishing or not, but yeah, he's uh, glad to be out with me and not stuck in the car. Right, so just been dropped off by the ghillie, change a hat, and uh, now we're just getting ready to fish the lower stretch of uh, Newtar. Here we go. Oh, I've got a poem, two poems here. Uh, Trees by Peter Dobson, planted on May 2020. I think I will never see a poem as pretty as a tree. Poems are written by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Marvellous. And another one by Peter, Peter Dobson, 1940, The Steps Pool. Oh, okay. I am as close to God in this place as if I were in a church or cathedral. I love to be here. Peter Dobson, born 1940. Wow. I mean, I get it, yeah. This is a really beautiful spot. Really beautiful spot. Right, that's uh, me done now for the steps pool. The boundary is here on these uh, three um, tree stumps. But I suppose I could go a little bit further, but uh, I've just been whistled, wolf whistled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by um, the guide with the uh, American chap. They finished on that pool up there, so I'm gonna go and fish that. Just coming up for half past three. Yeah, that'll finish off my day really nicely, spending the last hour or so on that pool. And also be a bit closer for pickup on the boat. You had a nice run around. Hmm? You had a good run around here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
never seen anybody so excited about me getting out of a river. Hey? Okay, so I am now coming up to four o'clock. We just had another rain shower. Uh, I've moved up to whatever this is called. <laughs> so I'm so uh, filled with information. And I've just changed onto this little um, what's it called? What the hell's it called again? God Almighty, Chris! Oh, it's your favourite fly as well. It's the one you caught that salmon on. I can't remember. I knew it. I... What is that called? Jesus Christ. Bloody dementia this is. Yeah, anyway, so I've tied that on. Oh, Red Francis tube fly. Yeah, I've just tied that on because it's got a nice bit of weight at the end. And this section here looks like it comes around quite fast, narrows up and looks a bit faster. So I just thought, let's, um, let's have a little bit of weight on it. And I've tried every colour and every type of fly in the box today. So, you know what? Let's give this a go. Right, well, <laughs> that's it. Uh, it's been a fantastic day here at New Tile. Um, you know, it's uh, been wet, miserable, um, not too much wind, but uh, still, I've, it's been so, so great to be back out on the river, uh, back out fishing, and uh, to have Theo out with me and sort of uh, another adventure begins and uh, continues. So thanks everybody for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give me a massive thumbs up. Uh, and also um, don't forget to subscribe. More amazing salmon fishing videos from my adventures to come very soon. Thanks again, guys. Proper job. Uh, you're on the camera. Yeah. You, come on. You're, you are, you're the star of the show, remember? You're the star of the show. That's why people tune in, as I've said before. It should be called Cornish Theo, the fish, shouldn't it? Eh? <laughs>